anyway, the guests are up, so that'll be better. First guest tonight is a fantastic actress. She's author of this new memoir, On the Couch, which is in stores now. She's also Tony uh, Soprano's therapist on The Sopranos. Take a look at this. What was your mother like? Did she ever let you down? Hurt your feelings? Of course she did. She was controlling and manipulative at times. She also never tried to kill me. Well, I pushed her over the edge. By placing her in a lovely retirement community. It's a nursing home. It's less hurtful to believe that they were right to try and destroy you than to accept the fact that she didn't value you. Lorraine Bracco, everybody. this as patient uh, uh, doctor. Is that what we're doing here? Who are we, patient doctor? All right. Are you no, no, you just said the how are you. How are, well, how are you? I'm and how was your relationship with your parents? <laughs> Not bad. Are you are you uh, are you in therapy yourself? Are you, do you do you actually get therapy? Come I, on, you might. You know. I have. I mean, I have nothing against it. I'll tell you that. Oh no, I get it all the time. And it doesn't seem to be working. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, from your monologue, I can understand. I'm, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm all over the place. You think? Yeah, yeah. Does, have you never? But you see, I think that's very healthy. What to be all over the place? Yes. All right, I'll go with that. All right. Think about right. Okay. It. I mean, you know, if you want to just have that tunnel vision, it's kind of boring. Who wants to live like that? You're right. That's and... what I tell my shrink all the time. <laughs> I, 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 I. Did you? You got treatment though for, for sure. depression or something? I right? did. I did. Did you take? The, like, did you get therapy or did you take drugs for your depression? I did. I did the combo platter. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> The smorgasbord. Yes, yeah. absolutely. What now? Did you you went through therapy and they suggested? Uh, what were you depressed about? Do you know? Uh, I think a lot of things. You know, I went through a couple of really hard years of a child custody battle, and yeah, that'll do it. My yeah. daughter got really sick and was in the hospital for a while, and they couldn't figure out what was wrong with her, and that would made me crazy, basically. But I that's, think that's that, what put me over the but edge. But that it sounds to me like that is, you know, to be depressed is an appropriate reaction to go through yes. those hard times. So yes. there wouldn't be a pathology; it wouldn't be a sickness. To be depressed if you know you're going through a hard time with your kid and sure, your kid sure, is sick. Sure, sure. So, but the thing is, is I think that you know I had a big, you know, misconception about the depression and medication. I thought you had to be on medication for the rest of your life, and I thought that if you took an antidepressant, you couldn't feel anything. Uh -huh. And I was, I, you know, I was really wrong about if it. If I, if that were true, I'd have been taking antidepressants <laughs> back in the old days. So it was, uh, it was all about not feeling anything. <laughs> Feeling no pain. Yeah, well, you know, we're all good at self-medicating, yes. aren't we? Yeah, yeah, I enjoyed a bit of self-medicating. Yeah. <laughs> I self-medicated my way right out of the 80s. Now, what's the book about then? This is, this is the, uh, this is on the couch. Is this about your time in, or is this your whole, it, it, my it's, life? It's got all kinds of stories from, you know, when I, when I uh, grew up in Brooklyn, I spent a, 10 years in France. Really? What were you doing in we, France? We sherry. Oh, yeah, very nice. Hey. Thank you very much. <laughs> Merci. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, what were you doing in France? I modeled in France and oh, I produced yes. on the French television. Really? And I had a radio show on Radio Luxembourg. Look at Oh, you. Radio so Luxembourg. I, I used to listen to Radio Luxembourg. Radio Luxembourg, if you grew up in Britain, was a pirate radio sure, station. Sure. So, it was, so all they, they well, would play. Well, especially, you know, in World War II. It was I did not grow up in World War II, well, but I hear you. <laughs> Neither did I, but that's okay. Right. <laughs> this is Luxembourg. Free Luxembourg. It's all right. No, I. No, Radio Luxembourg, they would play rock and roll and punk rock and stuff Absolutely. like that because the BBC wouldn't do it. Absolutely. Is that the radio station? Absolutely. Wasn't it was that in a ship cool. in the English Channel, though, or something? Uh, the Radio Luxembourg? No, yeah. it's from Luxembourg. The it country. was actually Luxembourg, hence the name. Well, fr yeah. <laughs> I'm a really so stupid bright. man, aren't you're I? So I'm a stupid right. man. Really? No, no, you're I so know. right. I, you know, you, you don't cease to uh, amaze me. You're, you're totally underwhelmed by me, aren't you? <laughs> no, I'm not. I think you're adorable. Uh, oh, really? I do. Don't you? Oh, well, thank you. 
Listen, I'll, I'll talk to you more about that during the commercial break. We have to take a break. We'll be right back with Lorraine Brackwell.